So what happens when you put a, a speaker in a room or any environment? Well, you have the direct sound from the speaker that gives you the information on the source of sound. So it has to be as accurate as possible. If your direct sound comes from a Steinway piano, you don't want to mess with it. You want to keep your Steinway piano as it is. So you want to hear that directly. But then you have first reflections. And first reflections, so there'll be a reflection against the wall, against the floor, against the ceiling. They give against you the console. Against the console. They give you information on the spatiality you're in. That's the first thing. And then sound sort of goes round. And after a moment, it diffuses. And then you have what you call the reverb or the, or the diffused sound. And that sort of decreases at a certain speed. So that, there's all these things to, to deal with in a room. The first thing to understand is that the direct sound on any transient will reach your ears before the indirect sound. And our brain is very capable of differentiating the direct sound that gives you information on source of sound from the indirect sound that gives you information from the spatiality. So it comes a bit earlier. You first have the direct sound and then first reflections. First thing, you want the first reflections to be a bit lower in pressure so that you can concentrate on the direct sound. Secondly, you don't want all of the first reflections to come at the same time because then it'll be a lot louder and a lot messier. You want to separate them a bit. And that comes from the size of the room, the shape of the room, the position of the loudspeakers, the position of the listener position. And then the other thing is you, you have the reverb time, which is the echo. And that's probably the quickest way of identifying if you've got a good room or not. And you listen to how quickly it comes down. What's very important, so it, you can have a reverb time. The RT, we talk about RT60, how long it reverb time to lose 60 dB, DK time. It can be very long, 5 to 10 seconds in a church, which is not a problem as long as it's the same for all frequencies. But the only thing is you have to talk very slowly in a, in a church. Uh, in a studio, you need this DK time to be much shorter so that you can have much faster information coming in. Uh, but what's extremely important is this DK time should be approximately the same at all frequency. You don't want to feel as if you're in a church in the low frequency and up in the mountains in the snow in the high frequency. It's totally unnatural. Unfortunately, that's what happens a lot.